Yo, what is up guys? For today we're talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at the new activity for this season, which is Contact, I think it's called. And real quick, I... Mm, so... I don't think this is as bad as the Seven Seraph... Or Seventh. I don't think this is as bad as the Seraph Towers, but... I can see myself getting bored of it real fast. The only reason this has actual value to me more than the Seven Seraph Towers or anything else is because it, we get the dark, uh, the dark engrams, whatever they're called. Those hold up so much weight because they have, obviously they have the new weapons and the new armor, but it also has w weapons that re are returning from old seasons or old DLCs. And I think that's the main reason why this DLC for me is going to hold up a lot better than like Season of the Worthy, especially Season of the Worthy. This might go down as probably the best season aside from Season of Dawn. I think Season of Dawn is still the best hands down, like just in general. The only reason I think this one's going to be good in people's eyes is because we got a dungeon and the dungeon holds a lot of replayability because of the two new armor sets are new new but one is new and the other one is a risk or not a reskin but they're just giving us back is the trials of the nine armor but it's it's really interesting because i actually think the contact public event thing is fine it's not anything annoying it's not hard or anything basically if you guys don't know how to do it you collect the moats and you bank the moats and then once in, once in a while, you'll have these like really chonky boys spawn in, kill the chonky boys. They'll drop uh, an orb and then just go to, to, to the orb and then just bank it. You have to do it five times if I remember correctly. But you can obviously glitch it or right before you press E or I think it's square or X for every, everyone else. Once you press that button to like slam it, instead, right when it's about to finish, switch to something else and then the ball will go down but you'll still slam it you'll basically be able to slam it a bunch of times which means you'll be able to make the like make the public event go faster i've seen a lot of people kind of not talk about this or just don't like it because it's cheesy whatever i'm more about efficiency than anything else so if it's efficient i'll do it which reminds me i gotta do another video about a certain topic but overall contact is fun once you do all of the steps that i'm talking about right now once you complete the moats and then the the balls i forget what they're called you'll go into the heroic version the heroic version is basically just kill this really chonky boy he's really fucking chonk once you kill him that, there that's it you have a really good percent chance of getting an umbral ingram which honestly i've heard people say oh i i get it like every once in a while like two like two out of three times me personally i always get one after after each heroic strike or each heroic uh public event but that's just me i yeah i i don't know i mean it's a heroic public event i think it should drop one all the time if you're doing it heroic if it's not like i don't know that's just me though uh for me the pub the, the public event's fine it's fun i think it's actually a lot more fun than the just throwing of the balls if they make it harder, then I, I don't know if that's going to make it better. Because if they make it harder, then at least give me like two Umbral Engrams for the heroic completion. And honestly, I, I could talk about this content, uh, public event for a little bit longer, but it's just me going to be saying the same thing. Uh, the whole reason, like I said, that's going to hold a lot more value to people is because of the Umbral Engrams. But that being said, I do think that I should be actually talk about what I was going to talk about in another video. So part of the reason why part of the reason why I don't think a lot of people do this is because you can just AFK farm. And if you guys want to know my stance on the AFK farm, I am actually neutral. I don't give a fuck. Actually, more than neutral, I, I just don't care. I'm very apathetic about it. Like, I've seen a lot of people say, oh, you didn't earn that. You didn't do this or that. It's like, I don't give a fuck, dude. Like, why are you why are you mad? Like, it's my game. If you're saying, oh, it's ruining your game, let me ruin my game. Like, even still, I always play this game. Dog, I have like 1,200, 1200 hours in this game. It's not going to ruin my game. 
just means I'm going to be able to do all the shit that I want to do now. Like the, I love, I love that this is a thing because it's helping me level up to the point where I can do the, the dungeon by myself without having red bars or skulls. So if you guys want to know my stance, if you're the, one of the people that are getting mad that people are AFK farming, what the fuck is wrong with you? They're not affecting you. So why, why are you mad? Are you mad that they're not earning their stuff? Because let's be real. You really don't earn anything in this game. Everything's RNG related. So if anything, they're being a little bit more efficient because they're actually, you know, making RNG less of a factor because they're getting more engrams, which means they have more chances to get what they need. Me personally, it's this is not just a, oh, AFK farming is bad. This is more of a just in general, like Bungie needs to fix their leveling system up. But even then, how would they fix it? It's an MMO. Have you guys not played any other MMOs? That's pretty much how it is. MMOs are really just like, oh, randomized gear. It's, I don't know, man. It's just really weird when when I see people like really bitch about that, especially since it's like PVE related. And now you can tell me, oh, it ruins, it ruins the experience for, for PVP players as well because you can just go in faster. It's like, I guess, I, mm, I don't know. That's just such a very weird, like, thing to pick at so me personally have i done afk farming hell yeah i have i woke up today with like a fuck ton of engrams in my in my uh postmaster and i was like oh my god yes and that helped me level up i'm currently 1056 you know how happy i am because like ultimately i'm done i only need a chest piece and my weapons to hit 1050 and i'm done like legit done Best believe I'm going to get hit 1050 by tomorrow and then the extra eight levels are just going to be extra. And after I hit like two more levels, that's it. So, and you can't even tell me that I haven't earned it. I've done everything on my Hunter, my Titan and my Warlock. Now I'm not going to say all of everything because obviously there's a few things I couldn't do or just can't do at the moment. But on my Hunter specifically, the only thing I am missing is literally... The Luna's call for for the moon for the powerful tier one. That's it. Okay, I'm if I'm being really honest, I'm still missing the Garden of Salvation first clears because I did the boss today for my for my clan. But other than that, I'm done. I'm full stop, just done. And I think that's pretty good. It's Saturday or Sunday right now, I think. Yeah, it's Sunday right now. I think that's really good. So, yeah, if you guys if you guys have an issue with AFK farming, I don't know what to tell you, man. Uh, you 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 need to stop looking at your neighbor's garden and just like look at your own first. I don't know. That's just me. It's just such a, it's, it's such a weird thing to fight people on. Like I I saw it on Twitter all the, like all day. Like what was it yes, yesterday and today? And I'm just like, why do you care if people farm? Like it's just weird. So. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about the just everything that I talked about today. I actually think the AFK farm is not that big a deal. And I think the and I think the public event is actually pretty fun. And the Umbral Engrams is one of the reasons why people are going to be running that for a while. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. Thank you everyone for the constant support. I really do appreciate it. Be careful out there, guys. You guys know what's happening in the world. And other than that, I will see you guys later.